This is the E34 M5. Now, it first went into production back in 1988. This is actually a later 1992 version. And back in the day, it cost the equivalent of 60,000 euros, which is roughly, back then, 40,000 pounds. I love the way you open the bonnet on this car. So, pull the lever, it slides forward. And if we just change places, you then open it this way. And shutting it, it's just a reverse process really. Get it down there and then slide it into place. One thing I like is that the steering wheel has no buttons on it. It's just for steering. There is one actually, it's for the, but that's it. You have cruise control here on a stalk and I can move the steering wheel electrically. Though it only goes in and out, not up and down. So it actually feels quite high. You can get this M5 with compound brake discs. Also, these wheels are very interesting. They're known as throwing stars. The reason for that is that you can actually remove this central section, so it looks like a throwing star, and there's the normal alloy behind them, and you can actually change the look of the wheels dead easy. Who needs modern iDrive when you've got a fancy trick computer like this? Look, wow, you can check your distances and see the temperature, and look, you can also put in a code to immobilize your car. Also here, in the driving information, there's a special little digital display which shows service information. Listen to this. <laughs> I love the sound of that. It's just so solid. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. This was the first M5 to get electronic damper control and you can change the stiffness of the dampers using this button here, which is between S and P, which is probably for something in German like sportive and you got these cute little water jets here to blast water and clean off the, the classic round headlamps. That is, that's just so period. The attention to detail back here is just incredible. So the seat's lovely and comfortable. I like the central armrest. It's got like a, a ratchet system. Look, it just locks in place. It's so well made. And there's things like this, look, the obligatory ashtray. There's loads of them throughout this car. You've got your, your blinds there. Oh, well, you've got an extra blind there, and there's one here for the back window. Look at that. The E34 M5 sends its power to the rear wheels via a five-speed manual gearbox. It's got a limited slip differential with 25% lockup, and the exhaust, as standard, is a sports exhaust. There's no upgrade to be had. Yeah, marketing has got a lot more cynical since this car was built. This particular car is painted in Daytona Violet, which is part of the BMW individual catalogue. Also, the car itself has always been owned by the BMW factory. It's never been owned by anyone else. The front seats are absolutely lovely and they're fully electric. So obviously you can slide them forwards, backwards. You can tilt them as you like. You can also recline it and move the headrest up and down electrically. You can extend the under thigh support, and it's got a memory function. This particular car has got the extended leather, so there's more leather in it than normal. And just the attention to detail, the way it's even stitched around the button for the warning lights. <laughs> it's wonderful. The car was initially launched with a 3.4 litre straight six with 315 horsepower, and it could get from naught to 60 in just 6.3 seconds. Later on, it was upgraded to a 3.8 litre with 340 horsepower. And look at it, I mean, it's glorious. You've got a cable throttle here, you've got individual throttle bodies. It's a thing of beauty. Let's literally go for a blast <laughs> from the past. <laughs> I have to tell you this engine. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very crisp. And it red lines at 7,000 RPM but it does encourage you to wring its neck. <laughs> the body control is all right. There's an initial bit of roll, but it seems to grip on very, very well. And it has that 90s, slightly floaty feel to it. Wee. <laughs> but the steering lets you know exactly what those front wheels are doing. What a treat this is. I can't get the grid off my face. That's one thing you definitely notice compared to a modern turbocharged car. If you choose the wrong gear and cock up your corner, yeah, it's going to affect how fast you can go. What an amazing car. 
and let's have a little go at seeing what it's like at accelerating in first. So, first. That's 100 kmh there. Oh, <laughs> it's lovely. Yeah, a verdict. I like it. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it and click on our logo to subscribe to our channel. Also click on the video windows for more CarWow videos.